the human eye has something called persistence of vision, which means our brains can process a constant stream of visual information. So there is no shutter and blinking doesn't count, but there is motion blur. And the amount of motion blur that the human eye sees is roughly the same as when a camera shutter speed is twice the value of the frame rate. So if you're filming at 25 frames per second, your shutter speed should be 1 50th of a second. The motion blur created at this shutter speed looks the most natural. The further away you move from this number, the more digital or artificial your footage will look. One place where it's beneficial to pick a shutter speed that is more than twice the frame rate is when you shoot slow motion. If you were to shoot a video at 50 frames per second, I would go for a shutter speed of anything higher than 1 100th. At 1 200th, you would get almost zero motion blur and really smooth and sharp slow motion. But you'd also need more light because the higher your shutter speed, the less time light has to reach the sensor, which means the more light you'll need in your scene. 